In this particular problem, we are asked to find the absolute minimum and the absolute maximum of the function f of x is equal to 9x plus 8 on a closed interval between negative 3 and 6. Now I've kind of roughly sketched the graph out to give us an idea of what's going on in this problem. They're asking us to find the largest y value and the smallest y value in this set. And by just uh, examining the graph here, we can clearly see that when x is equal to 6, well, that's going to be the largest point on the entire graph. That is the largest point uh, that has the largest y value, I guess I should say. And then x is equal to negative 3 is going to be the smallest y value. And to actually find what these values are, you're just going to take negative 3, you're going to test each endpoint. So f of negative 3, after plugging it into the function, we get negative 19. And then we plug 6 in and we get 62. And so we can see then that when x is negative equal to negative 3, your y value is equal to negative 19. So I display that as a point, And I say that the absolute minimum occurs at negative 3, negative 19 and the absolute maximum occurs at 662. And we look back at the graph, and therefore it's kind of obvious to see this once looking at the graph. But uh, since this is uh, calculus, um, we didn't have to do any calculus in this problem. But uh, the degree of this polynomial is 1, and uh, that's the reason why. But uh, if the degree of the polynomial is greater than 1, then uh, we will have to uh, use calculus to solve this problem, and we'll be seeing that later. But that concludes this problem.